Good evening, sir. We are group nine, uh, including me, Riddhi, Rohan, Srimoy, and Shreya. Our topic is business model of e-commerce model based on the transaction type, model based on the transaction party like B two B, B two C, C two B, and C two C, and the introduction of e-governance. So there is the introduction of our PPT. So the term commerce refers to the trading of goods and services. It is a modern day invention that facilitates the trading of goods and services through the electronic means, or we can say that more precisely the internet. The PPT is an uh, uh, is basically is an uh, account of the various types of commerce business, uh, each of which uh, caters to the different business model. Some importance uh, are there in uh, of the. Uh, e-commerce uh, first is that we can have the wide uh, variety of products low cost than the traditional shopping and selling and third one is that less time consuming and faster consumer consumption and the last one is the faster business expansion okay the uh, e business model basically describes how a company makes a plan to generate revenue and make a profit from the operation the model includes the components and functions of the business as well as the revenues it generates and uh, expenses it incurs so although there are many different ways to categorize e uh, business models basically there are two types one is e business model based on the relationship of transaction parties and second one is the e business model based on the relationship of the trans section types now next part will be continued by shrimoy thank you sir good evening sir i am shrimoy so here i am discussing the part e business model based on relationship of transaction parties so here first comes b2c as the name suggests b2c is business to consumer it is when a company markets its products or services directly to the end user it is the most widely known form of commerce there are some b2c model example uh, direct selling is the most common part it is when consumers buy product from online retailers online intermediaries are online uh, business that bring sellers and consumers together and take a cut of each transaction model so uh, next part is b2b like business to business in this model e-commerce encompasses all electronic transactions of goods or services conducted between companies sometimes the buyer is the end user but often the buyer resells the consumer b2b transaction generally have a longer scale cycles in recent days b2b innovators have made a place themselves by replacing catalogs and order sheets with commerce stores fronts and improved targeting niche market so producers and traditional commerce wholesalers typically operate its whole type of electronic commerce now next part is c2b consumer to business in c2b or consumer to business there is a complete reversal of transactional uh, sense of exchanging goods in this model a site might enable customers to post the work that they want to complete it and have business bid for the opportunity i can give you an example that the exam comparison of interest rate of personal loan or car loan or home loan that provided various bank via website a business organization who fulfills the customer's requirement within the specified budget approaches the customers and provides services third part is c2c or consumer to consumer in c2c commerce business consumer model a website following this business helps the consumer to sell their asset like residential property cars motorcycle rent a room by publishing their information on their website website may or may not charge for the consumer for its services in this c2c business it benefit from self propelled growth by motivated buyers and sellers but face a key challenge in quality control and technology machine online business like craigslist walmart alibaba ebay pioneered this model in early days of the internet the next part will continue shreya good evening sir so now i'll be talking about e business models based on the relationship of transaction types so first we have brokerage model 
as the term we have broker so broker they act as an intermediary between buyers and the sellers and they in turn they take some commission or fee from uh, both of them when the deal is being uh, sanctioned so uh, they follow the key principle that is the price discovery mechanism this brokerage model includes marketplace exchange option broker and transaction broker so this uh, marketplace exchange it uh, it is a platform where market related deals and negotiations takes place like a barter system a uh, good is being given uh, to the seller and in return a seller gives another product to the buyer then we have uh, auction broker it offers the digital bidding process for sellers here the uh, buyers they compete with each other to buy the product the one buyer who will be uh, giving maximum money will be granted that product then we have transaction broker it offers the secure gateway for the payment mechanism between two parties like sellers and buyers then we have the aggregator model uh, here it, the best example will be facebook it does not have any content of its own in fact it is relying on the users so uh, like here it is written that it it uh, has the ability to create an environment which draws visitors to its site and it collects information on goods and on services from several competing sources at its website here we have a virtual merchant a virtual merchant a virtual merchant is a website that sells goods and services to the public via online transactions with debit card or credit cards then we have catalog merchant the a catalog merchant is a form of retailing the typical merchant sells a wide variety of household and personal products with uh, much more emphasizing on jewelries then we have intermediary model so they focuses or so they have the focus on uh, telling buyers what is their product and just they let them know what are their products what are the benefits of their products so they mainly do this by uh, giving some advertisements or uh, giving some catchy offers so uh, they have models like advertising networks intermediary here they uh, Uh, use different advertisement methods like bringing some stars and then asking them to give an advertisement for them or then using in incentive marketing where they follow strategic methods like a buy one get one free then uh, giving them rewards after some transactions are being made then we have the community model so this community term as it says that it is completely based on the users so users they share their reviews they tell how the product is and what are the benefits of their product we discuss on this uh, product this includes open source open content for public broadcasting social networking services now rohan will be telling about e governance hello sir so in the in this part of the presentation we'll understand about e governance on electronic governance electronic go governance is adopted by countries across the globe it is a in a fast growing uh, economy like ours e governance has become very essential uh, to be taken under consideration uh, seeing the size of market and population of our country e governance can take place in four major type of interaction apart from the uh, processes and interaction in the ba back offices with the government frameworks Uh, the four uh, major types are gov government to gov government in this type of interaction uh, the information is shared shared between two governments for example a uh, state government and a central government uh, these these uh, in these type of processes uh, there there are processes involved in um, uh, in uh, services which require go, go, inter government uh, communication next we have government to uh, citizen in this interaction the gov it is one of the most uh, difficult form of uh, interaction if we put into in the e governance framework because in this uh, type of framework the citizen have to be educated about the services provided by gov gov government on uh, uh, on online so uh, th this includes uh, services such as aadhar and uh and se several other uh, income tax related services next we have gov government to businesses in this type of interaction the 
कम्युनिकेशन इज बिटवीन गवर्नमेंट एंड बिजनेस प्रिवेलिंग इन अ पर्टिकुलर कंट्री वन ऑफ द मेजर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस इज एन ई वे बिल प्रीवियसली वे बिल वॉज रिक्वायर्ड टू फॉर द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ गुड्स अक्रॉस द कंट्री दिस हैज बिन रिप्लेस बाय ई वे बिल्स विच कैन बी जनरेटेड ऑनलाइन एंड एंड सर्व द पर्पज वेरी वेल नेक्स्ट वी हैव गवर्नमेंट टू एम्प्लॉयज दिस काइंड ऑफ इंटरेक्शन इज बिटवीन गवर्नमेंट एंड इट्स एम्प्लॉयज द सर्विसेज सच एज पी एफ and uh, uh, several health benefits and health claims are come under these services now we'll understand the advantages of e-commerce and uh, also we'll cover the disadvantages so some of the advantages are number 1 a larger market as we can see uh, internet is not restricted to a particular area it is uh, widespread across the globe so this gives the businesses a greater uh, uh, scalability uh, to grow the business next we have consumer insights through tracking and analytics we have also heard about terms such as big data and data analytics which use the, this mechanism where the data collected from users is used in growth of business and making the business more profitable next we have fast response to customer trends and uh, market demands uh, since the economy is changing and trends are changing uh, day by day so uh, because businesses needs to adopt and change new techniques into their business and thus uh, helping the customers understand the business uh, understand the business and services pretty well this has also given profit to the consumer uh, to the businesses and as well as the consumers low cost so previously before the e-commerce existed uh, once if 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 one one has to do a business they had to uh, rent a shop or they had to at least have an office uh, to run the business which incurred some cost in behalf of the company so this has been replaced by e-commerce a major example of it can be netflix netflix previously when it was a, a dvd store or a cd rom store they rented out movies uh, through their stores and they had to incur some delivery charges too but now due to the presence of e-commerce they can simply stream their uh, videos anywhere in this world and this has also helped them scale to different extent next we have more opportunity to sell so once a business has so much data available to it it can also understand the linking and similar products which it it can sell and increase their profitability so with this adva- advantage there are certain disadvantages or advantages of e-commerce uh, one of the primary disadvantage is lack of personal touch so people somehow uh, Uh, are uh, addict are uh, habituated to see a person at a shop at a shopping store or, or a store so th- that has helped uh, consumers to understand their own requirement understand the products that they might need which has been replaced by e-commerce where they had to themselves uh, go through the catalog understand different features and then choose a correct model which has been an hindrance in uh, e-commerce thing next we have lack of tactical experience with the lack of people's involved uh, of the business there are people technical people who are just uh, who are involved in running the site so there is a lack of uh, expertise in running and business and more exp- more uh, ex- experts are hired just to uh, incorporate this e-commerce and scalability of business next we have price and product comparison so this is an advantage as well as a disadvantage because uh, for consumers uh, they can easily uh, search the prices and uh, understand what they want but for the businesses it it is impacting because with the price available on internet a, a competitor can drop price and manipulate customers and market in their own favor next we have need of internet access uh, there are several places once due to the internet revolution in india we have uh, internet access all over the country but there are certain countries which lack internet service yet so for those countries e-commerce is still uh, not available that that is that is one of the disadvantage of e-commerce next you have it security issues with the fast rapid growth of uh, uh, e-commerce around the world and this uh, digitalization there are certain uh, m- malicious people who are trying to uh, provide hindrance or gain uh, financial financial gains from people by pr- uh, attacking these uh, uh, it infrastructures which is one which is one of the hindrance in e-commerce and which has been dealt dealt by uh, several cyber security uh, experts but it, it is still uh, a growing business Uh, th- uh, in this ppt we have understand about several c- e-commerce uh, uh, e- e-commerce models and e-governance thank you Thank you very much all thank you for very good presentation